Hello and welcome to the HeartFit Clinic. My name is Diamond Fernandez and I'm excited to be talking to you about statin side effects. We know that cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death of men and women and the number one cause of death of hospitalization. And statin drugs are definitely a common choice for the prevention, uh, especially if you have high cholesterol, so if you want to lower your cholesterol, or the treatment of heart disease. So the research is quite compelling showing the benefits of statin therapy. Um, however, does everyone need a statin? And that's the question you really have to ask. Um, let me start off by saying, you know, I'm a big fan of statin therapy early on in the disease process. Um, if patients can handle it, of course. But there has to be a goal of, um, you know, eventually coming off of this medication with a heart healthy lifestyle. And it can be done and I've seen it many, many times. So the reason why I'm, I, I'm talking about this is because the latest research um, shows on statin drug side effects is that high potency uh, statin therapy is now linked to acute kidney disease. So what is high potency? Um, it's 10 milligrams of Crestor or Rosivastatin, uh, 20 milligrams or more of uh, the Adervastatin, which is the Lipitor, and 40 milligrams of the Simvastatin. So um, obviously now we have these side effects in addition to other ones that we already know of, which is muscle pain or damage, um, liver damage, digestive problems, increased blood sugar or type 2 diabetes, uh, neurological side effects it could be such as memory loss or even um, you know conditions such as Lou Gehrig's disease. So it definitely talks, uh, you know, it definitely warrants a good conversation with your doctor to see uh, what are your options uh, of maybe even coming off of this medication. So, you know, in the medical field of things, that obviously the talks are that it should be in the water that we drink because it has so many benefits, but you can do a lot also with nutrition. Um, I just read that there was a grocery store chain uh, in the U.S. that provides free statins, which is out of a statin to its customers. And now, obviously, this was a marketing promotion uh, to get new customers, but Pfizer is the one that actually branded this drug, but they lost their patent in 2011. So now this blockbuster drug who is making billions of dollars uh, is now in the generic market. And so Pfizer really just announced uh, recently that they will not market this drug anymore. So it's all about, um, you know, definitely making the shareholders happy. So let's talk about more about the, um, at the, you know, at the end of the day, statins are a drug and they can come with side effects. So the risks of taking a statin um, should obviously outweigh the benefits. And so because statins have side effects, caution should be used when prescribing these drugs. You know, patients should understand the side effects of statin therapy and also understand what, what's the goal here? What, what, what is your whole plan for your cardiac care or even your lowering your cholesterol? So if you've been diagnosed with high cholesterol and have been prescribed a statin, then this good discussion needs to be have with your prescribing doctor as to reasons why. So obviously doctors are only given a handful of minutes and so it's easy for them to take out the prescription pad and, and obviously um, give you a prescription. So having high cholesterol does not mean you have to take a statin therapy. Um, like there's, like I mentioned, there's so many side effects of statin therapy and patients should be given a chance to reduce their numbers through lifestyle intervention. So obviously good exercise program, stress management program, uh, obviously a nutrition program with possibly some supplements. So try this lifestyle therapy. It should be given three to six months and most people will see a big difference. I've seen it all the time without having to go on statin therapy. So in the events um, no change is had, then you can talk to your healthcare team and decide the next step. So it is important to understand that cholesterol is not the reason people end up with heart disease. It is inflammation. So the goal is to lower that inflammatory response. And the reason why statins do a great job is because it lowers the LDL cholesterol, but it also lowers the inflammatory response. And that's why I like it early on in the disease process with the goal of eventually coming off of it. Here's to your heart health success. My name is Diamond Fernandez. Live happier, healthier, and longer.